And what happened and what came over me and, and, and what it culminated from is from the past where I used to be Mr. Write a Poem for a Bitch, Mr. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to go out to uh, oh my blah, God. blah, blah, blah. You wrote Mr. poems. So, I used to. Oh. You know what I used to do? Bring roses. No. Roses, wow. poetry. <laughs> Here's what I used I'd to do. I'd like to see some of these poems. Here's what I used to do in high school. And I'm going to tell you, just so you don't oh. think that I'm some... You got to understand, I'm a fat motherfucker. And you got to understand that I had to... I, I got tired of just fucking fat girls. Even though I do like fat girls. I do like them innately like fat girls. But the reason I, I wanted to fuck hot women... And I'm like, I know I've seen fat motherfuckers with hot women. <sighs> and when I was a kid, I would write... Not, my poems used to be... You ever see, what was that show where they used to show a picture? They would show a picture, um, and it's like, it'll be a B... And then and then they'll write the plus sign and then a leaf and it would be the word uh, believe you know, oh, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. it was called a rebus oh. so I would I would write a bitch a poem I cherish you and I would write an eyeball cherry and then a chair <laughs> and then plus ish and I'll go here's your uh, thing baby and I wanted to know if I could take you out on a goofy. date and she would go get that your fat punk ass out of here and I got what the fuck why can't I get the pussy I want and eventually. All over these years since high school, it's been like a, not an anger, but a frustration. Like, what does it take? Does it take 75 push-ups? No. Does it take a 1,000 sit-ups? No. Does it take a nice car? No. Does it take a, a, a fucking super motorcycle? No. It takes confidence. There's a, and it has to be righteous confidence. Now, you find, do you find that you get, the, you get these women now? in the city because of the confidence and the, the kind of revelation that you got in Brazil. Yes, the, but let me say what the revelation was. Why The revelation was, why the fuck am I flying 10 hours in this death trap to go see third world pussy? Why? So when you say why, this is, a, this is one of the big yeah, problems I, I, that I really men like and women have. That men, men have mostly. We have a primal instinct that we feel in our gut. And a lot of times, the fact that the world's so pussy now, that I believe that's just infested with vaginas and how they think, that men cancel out their <clears throat> the primal. Thought. That right. thought where, you know, if your, your wife does something, you, you know, or, or, or this guy's wife does something, and th that guy's wife does something, it, they get a feeling like in your stomach. Your woman ever do something, and in your stomach you go, what? this fucking bitch. But... But it's like she does it, and it's something about what she does that isn't wrong. You can't pinpoint what it is. Like, if you go, bitch, you out your mind? She'll go, what? All I did was ask for the orange juice. And you know she did something mm -hmm. other than that. Right, right. But you can't. This you, the intention. Okay, that's the intention. The intention of what she, what is going on behind that. Yes. Yeah, that, it, it's a manipulative. We're, the, in our culture, right. it's. We are raised to be. Women are raised to be manipulative. Raised by. I don't who? even think. I don't even think they're, I, the, they're I, manipulative. I, I understand purpose. what you're saying. Like she can't come out and say like I. I whatever she wants the, to um, say, it has to be something with the orange juice. The like bad. She, the she bad won't thing. look mean. Whereas the Brazilian women would come out and tell you. No. You know, I don't like your hat or whatever. No, they no, don't. You're no, you're talking about the the, uh, the sleeping on what side of the bed. What's like, what right, side of the right, bed? That's what, what you're talking about. It's, it's the subtle, it's, subtle, innate I'll tell, I'll tell, manipulative. I'll tell a story about yeah. that's the, there's, there's what a side of the bed. subtle, innate, manipulative, and I don't even think it's on purpose. I think it's, it's just it's natural. It's malicious. so organic in a way. Uh, uh, the manipulation is so organic. Let me tell a story about that. Mm. Let me tell what happened. Years ago, my ex-girlfriend, who, who I'm still friends with now, there was we was going to bed. You know, I used to hang over a house and stuff. We was go to sleep. And one day, and this is what I'm talking about, having a, a, a feeling, or just a feeling like, what the fuck? I, I hate this bitch, but I don't know why. She said, let's go to bed. We're going to bed, okay? So she goes, before we get to bed, she goes, what, what side of the bed do you want to sleep on? And I go, well, um, this yeah. side. Then she goes, but then I won't be able to see the television. Yeah. So I'm like, in my gut, I'm like, well, what the bitch? I didn't ask. Which side of the bed to sleep? Just get on the fucking right, side right. of the bed you want to sleep on. Why did you ask me that shit? So in my stomach, I wanted to curse her out. But in my mind, I'm like, wait a minute. If I curse her out for this, she'll be like, hello, what please. Is this wrong this, with this you? is the yeah. Raven Maniac yeah, here. Right. So what I learned to do over the last five years, and of course, like meeting with Dante, meeting with Kathleen, is I learned a way to just immediately become philosophical about my 
anger and go, okay, why am I angry? Okay, I'm angry because she did this. And and just that little story is basically she did that because she, women have two things in their head. They have the thing that makes them go, I love you. You're a man. You're bitter, bigger than me. You're stronger than me. You fucking, and I, can't even, me I can't even open this pickle jar without you. And then oh, it's the other God. side of their brain that goes, you <laughs> faggot ass bitch. What the fuck you give a fuck? Why are you? Loving this motherfucker so much. So what they want is they want the girl shit at the expense of your manhood. Yeah. They want your manhood at, at, when they want it. it here's the problem. I, I think you, you get a situation where men in general, when they meet women, women, they send the representative, what I call a representative. That's the public relation guy, the suit, where you have to send the jerry curl guy with the gold teeth from the mail room first. You got to send him up front. You to can't, do what? To to, when you first meet a woman, you have to you have to be the guy that you are, not with in mind that you're trying to lay her or or plow. You got to be the guy that you are. But see, you're moving ahead because this is where we have to come in. Right. It's because you got to understand where this is coming. This show is to help mm. help all the guys to first of all to make sure that if you ever break up with your girl, I don't got a deal with this bitch and your lack of raising her correctly. Yeah, and now if I got to deal with. You don't raise your bitch correctly. Right. You are you are potentially putting me <laughs> in a <laughs> fucked up situation. If you don't raise her right. It's like having a child and you don't raise them in the house and then they walk out in the streets and right. they fucking rob people and they steal and they fucking say, "Hey baby, hey bitch." It it's because the parent didn't raise them right. It's is I got to deal with your horse shit, fellas. This show is basically to help men in in a nutshell. Understand to help you get to be able to introduce another option to how your girl thinks. Now, That's please. what this show is about.